Next up is Giselle Mills, and what an absolute joy it is to have the Mills family with us. They've been with us for about three months or so, and it's been wonderful to see their kids and kids ministry and student ministry. And Giselle, it's been absolutely wonderful to hear your story. Would you share your story of salvation with the rest of our church family this morning? Yes. Good morning. Thank you for letting me share how I came to Christ. When I was a child in Mexico, I used to be a Jehovah's Witness and later a Catholic. When I came to the United States at the age of 11, I started going to my mom's Christian church. I attended out of submission, but because of worldly influence, it eventually turned into something cumbersome every Sunday. Mm. I left the church at the age of 18. I told God that if I ever came back to the church, it would be because I truly wanted to. I came back to him during COVID at the age of 35. One night while I was sleeping, I couldn't breathe. I thought that I had COVID. My mental health suffered because I thought if I went back to sleep, I would die. I lived in fear for many months with absolutely no sleep. With every breath, I felt like I was being strangled and I had trouble speaking. One day, my husband gave me a Bible. He only said that if I wanted to read it, to start with John. I did, and it was like I had been thirsty for a long time and had not realized it yet. After drinking the Gospel of John, I felt like I needed more of his word. I was insatiable. I saw the goodness of Christ and his amazing character. His words were life to my spirit and soul. I wanted to know more. I prayed every sleepless night. It was in these dark moments that I believe God's spirit drew me closer to him and made me realize that I needed him. So I accepted Christ in my living room after my mom encouraged me to accept him. I began going to church because I finally wanted to. I'm forever thankful for his mercy. I'm grateful that he didn't reject me when I called upon his name, unlike me rejecting him when I was younger. I am humbled by his enduring love despite my desire to do my own will and his loving sacrifice that brings our eternal salvation. I celebrate his resurrection, which declares his divinity and sovereignty. I am forever grateful that he allowed me to regain sleep and to have conversations with my brethren in Christ. Mm. I would also like to recognize my mom. Even though I had chosen life away from God, her love, persistence, and faith gave her the drive to pray for me every day for 17 years. I'd like to encourage those parents who have a prodigal to never stop praying. Put on that armor and keep fighting. All the glory to Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Giselle, first of all, thank you for sharing your testimony. I praise God that the Spirit of God has brought your family here to grace. And it's an absolute joy to see what God has done in your heart and life. And we celebrate with you. So I just want to ask one more time, are you confident in the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross for your sin? And you've received that. Absolutely, 100%. Amen, my sister. It's based on your profession of faith that I now baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. 